Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a late update to Fifty Shades of Brown. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. And we started this new color of Fifty Shades back in April on the 15th. So I'm about five days late. Things have been really crazy. <laughs> so things are, my videos are late. I'm sorry. I actually did not sleep at all last night. I tried to go to bed and at 5.30 gave up. So it's currently like almost nine. So I've been up for several hours. I took a shower, did my makeup, ran a few errands. And I wanted to film a couple of videos since I'm dolled up and I'm awake. But I'm currently in the process of like getting my house ready to show. And that's a process because I have a lot of crap. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, and then things are still going, uh, or moving forward with the closing of the new place I'm moving into. So lots going on. And I know that's why I can't sleep. My brain just won't stop. Anyway, let's get into how I'm doing on this project. So as I mentioned that we, well, we rolled in 50 items and I'll link my introduction in the cards. And I'm um, sorry, my nails are a hot mess, but you know, you guys know. Now I'm not working on all 50 items. So what I'm going to do is share with you the items that I have made some progress on and that I've used here and there. Not a ton of progress on most things. I do have one empty, which is surprising, but this was a small scrub. This is by the pharmacist's daughter. It's their handmade sugar scrub in Egyptian amber. This smelled really lovely. It was a little bit on the lighter side, but it actually smelled really good. I did enjoy the way this smelled, but I'm not a fan of the scrub. It's kind of like a foaming scrub. So if you're a fan of foaming scrubs, this probably would be something that you like. I think probably similar to the Onyx bathhouse ones that you can find at TJ Maxx, but those aren't my favorite. At least this was not my favorite. So I don't know. I haven't tried the Onyx one, even though I have a couple of them. I haven't tried them yet. So I would not repurchase this. It's just the formula. That's not my kind of formula. So otherwise it was nice. Now for the items I'm still working on, I'm going to start with the skincare body care section. So I rolled in five of these Pure Lease masks. This is the coconut and rice nourishing sheet mask. Now I do have one finished but I still have four to go. <laughs> this is, I'm kind of doing like a, on the down low, I'm doing a, a mask, a main mask challenge. And, but I'm trying to focus on some other sheet masks and using my other masks as well. So I did use this in the month of May. Then I used this a couple of times, the Exuviance Wrinkle Smooth Topical Peptide. I thought that I would use this in the morning, but I am like kind of hyper focused on finishing my Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior because it's a full size and I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm almost done. And then it keeps going and going. So I've used this a couple of times, but it's not like a focus. I think once I finish the Kate Somerville, then I'll kind of move my focus to two other serums that I have in other projects, including this one. From Fresh, I have the Rose Hydration Facial Toner. I literally just started using this. So, I mean, you're not going to see any progress. Wait, on my, in, I mean, a teeny tiny amount of progress, right? So, yeah, it's just not something that I've been using enough. Like, since the last one I finished, I've only been able to use this for a couple days. Next, I have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Supercharged I'm sorry, Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. It's a full size of this beautiful eye serum. I use this under my eyes. It's lovely. So I have been using this at night and I really do love this product. It's one of my favorite Holy Grail products. Unless I find something that I feel does something similar and has a similar texture, I would probably continue to buy this because it's lovely. So making some progress, you know, I don't need very much of it. And I love the way this stuff goes on the skin. It's so good. From Neogen, I have the Daylight Protection Airy Sunscreen. Again, this is something that I, I guess I, I guess I have made some progress. That's where I am right now. So let me go ahead and mark this. This is my current daytime uh, sunscreen, not moisturizer sunscreen. 
I have another sunscreen that's also in a project. It's the Shiseido one, but that one's got a very oily texture to it. I don't want, I love it in the winter, but right now it's like full on summer here and I need something a little bit more lightweight and this is fitting the bill. This is a really lovely sunscreen. I, I think I'll, uh, I've tried two from this brand and I like both. Uh, the other one has actually been discontinued. And I think the last like beauty care thing I'm working on is this deep conditioner by Curl Smith. It is the Double Cream Deep Quencher, and I have made some progress, as you can see there. This is a really nice, it's a nice deep conditioner. It's not one that I would leave on, at least there's others that I feel like I would leave on for longer periods of time over this, although I think you can. Yeah, for a deep, deep moisturizing treatment, leave on for 30 minutes. So if I was to, like I'm gonna be washing my hair washing my hair <laughs> I'm going to be coloring my hair pretty soon because the roots are starting to show so maybe I'll try this after I color my hair next to see what I think about it as a like super deep conditioner okay moving on to the makeup so I'm gonna start with this Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer in the shade medium 7.5 I have used this uh, several times actually to mix with a Tarte concealer that I'm working on to finish. You can see I've got some windowing here, but I haven't even taken out the stopper. So I kind of alternate between this and an Ulta Beauty one that I'm working on. This is way better than the one from Ulta Beauty because it's the Ulta Beauty one is like super drying I'm finding. So I'm preferring this combination, but I also kind of want to save the Charlotte Tilbury one for whenever I come back from the beach because I feel like it'll be a good shade match for me then. All right, next up I have two blushes. The first one is a cream blush by Stila. This is the convertible color dual lip and cheek cream in Camellia. And I rolled this into hit pan. These don't take very long to hit pan. So I wouldn't say that I've, I think I've probably used it five times or so and I really like to put my sponge like bounce my sponge in here and then apply it this is a really beautiful color there we go it's a really nice like nude kind of warm neutral shade I do like this one but I think I prefer it whenever I'm doing like a neutral warm leaning neutral look versus like a purple or pink look then from Tom Ford I have the explicit no, I have the shade and illuminate blush in explicit flush and I rolled this in for a usage goal. I think I did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I did 20 uses on this. Yes, and I've only used it once. So that just goes to show you. I feel like this is a, a way better like after I've come back from the beach and I have a tan blush. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful blush. I mean, I say that. And that's really because I've I've really been doing a lot of purple and pink looks lately. And I feel like this isn't the right shade for that color combination. One eyeliner. I have the Physicians Formula Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner in the shade. Well, this is from the Warm, Warm Nude Eyes Trio. I have made progress on this. I haven't taken a picture yet, but I will put it up here. That is how much is left in here. I'm trying to finish this. And this is a nice deep brown shade. I'm not wearing it to, well, am I wearing it today? Oh my God, I can't remember what I put on my eyes today. I think I'm wearing one from MAC today. I don't think I'm wearing this one because I'm the one from MAC is really close to being finished. But yeah, this is it's a nice eyeliner. I'm enjoying it. One highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Opal. Now, I think when I showed this to you guys at the introduction, I was like, this is jiggly. Well, it broke. <laughs> so, I don't know how I'm going to keep this from... I I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm probably going to gouge it at some point. My goal is to hit pan in this. And I do mix this currently with... Dior pink glow that I'm working on to finish because this is a little bit too deep for me. So we'll see how this ends up looking on my skin when I come back with a tan at the end of June. We'll see how that works out. I, I mean, I don't see a dip right now, maybe a teeny tiny one, but not really. 
And then I have three lippies. The first one is like a lip balm. Balm. This is by Bobbi Brown. It's the Extra Lip Tint in Bare Pink. And this one, I, tr I mean, I pretty much wear this as a balm because it's like sheer. You can't even see the color. I mean, you can barely see it here. I, again, will show you a picture here, but I have used a decent amount of this. I would say a quarter of it. That is how much is gone from the tube. And lately I haven't, like there are days where, there have been more days recently than ever in a month that I have not worn makeup because like yesterday, I literally was decluttering and cleaning all day. And I didn't have time to put on a face. I rolled out of bed and was in my pajamas all day cleaning. Oh my God. My life, you guys. It's crazy. So anyway, I'm making progress on this. It's a really lovely lip tint. I do enjoy that one. This is crooked. Whatever. Then I have this Makeup by Mario moisture glow plumping lip serum in mauve glow you guys this is so beautiful i want another i think i have another one of these i was gonna say i want another one in a different color but i want to say i have two of these am i wrong no i'm not wrong i have another one the other one i have is rose glow but i would get like a nude glow one i rolled this in for 20 uses because you can't roll it back down it's a very glossy product like balmy lip product that's how I would describe it and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it feels really nice going on it does have a slight I wouldn't even say plumping effect I mean it is a plumping lip serum but I don't really taste anything funky or it doesn't make my lips burn at all it's a beautiful product so I rolled this in for 30 uses It'll be interesting to see if I get close. Well, I mean, I won't be able to tell if I'm close to finishing it unless I finish it <laughs> with 30 uses. But so far I have used this nine times and I love it. Love, love, love. If you and I jive on like lip product formulas and you haven't tried this, try it. And then the last part I'm going to talk about today is this little MAC Deluxe Size Lipstick. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Run for the Hills. I do have some progress on this. I was a little bit surprised because I think I've only worn it a couple times, but you know, this is a mini. Anyway, there's the shade. It's a gorgeous color. Love the way this feels on the lips again. The Cream Sheen formula is really nice. It's not gonna stay on your lips for, you know, I mean, if you drink a lot of coffee, which is what I'm doing right now, it's gonna rub off, but I don't care because I don't mind reapplying. I just want my lips to be comfortable. Anyway, this is a lovely color, lovely product. So that is everything that I am working on. I know I did, I think, use a Tom Ford lipstick. And let me see, I don't know if it's in here. Oh yeah. I think I may have used this once. This is the Tom Ford lipstick in Julian. I just, I didn't, I mean, I guess I am talking about it. <laughs> There is how much is left in here. I don't think I'm gonna have any measurable pro progress because I literally think I used it one time and that's it. Uh, let me swatch that for you because I think, I always think this is a dark shade, like it's better for this fall winter and then I swatched it and I'm like, no, it's not. I'm looking to see if there was anything else that I think I may start before the next update. Actually, I'm, well, Okay, so I have the Nude Sticks All Over Face Highlighter in Hey Honey. That's a darker highlighter for me, but I, I do need to have, I don't want to spoil it, but I do need to work on a cream highlighter. So I may just pull that in and see how it how it does. So I may be able to get some uses on it before before I update this next month. But I think that may be it. I don't think there's anything else that I feel like I'm going to be able to roll in quickly. I might be able to start working on the Pharmacy Green Clean Warm Vanilla and Chai Deluxe Size because I am working on another cleansing balm. It's the Rodeal in a Tube 
and that one's going pretty quick, pretty quickly. Oh, I didn't talk about this. I have, this is in the beauty care section. This is by Sarah Happ. It's their lip scrub in, I think this is brown sugar. So yeah, I totally forgot to talk. It's sitting right here, right in front of me. Anyway, that is my progress. So I did start using this. I want to say, I think I finished the other one I was working on at the end of April and then I rolled this one in. So was able to uh, maybe half a month. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. <laughs> I feel like I'm babbling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.